Hi, this is Fook from Alpha B Group. This is a quick video on how to use this Excel sheet to keep track of your business income and expenses. So let's start from the top, right over here. You're gonna put in your first name, last name, and your business name. This allows me to know who I'm working with. Also, you'll notice that there's gonna be various categories in this column right here, the first category being income. So what you wanna keep in mind is that when you use this Excel sheet, we're entering data from left to right. So for example, let's say you collected $500 in income one week, and then 600 the next week, and then 800 the following week. As long as we enter from left to right, it's gonna tally everything up right here in the first column. And I use this because it's a lot easier to keep track of total expenses into the first column where it's easy for me to see because this is where I take the information to put onto the tax return. And as you scroll down, you'll see the various um, categories for expenses and some of these you could actually hover over to get more information on in case you don't know what it means. So cost of goods sold is pretty much inventory, anything that you use to purchase inventory for resale. Um, and same thing, left to right, you're going to enter in how much you paid for certain expenses and it'll tally it up all over here, just like that. And then as you scroll down, I put the categories in alphabetical order, but there will be times where I might not have that particular category for you. So say you have something that's not in there, like fringe benefit, and you paid $500 for it and another $1,000 later on. It'll tally it up here, give the description here. And this section right here is gonna be your net profit and loss. It gives, it gives a brief snapshot of how much you made versus how much you expensed out to get your net profit. Now this section right here, asset depreciation. These are big ticket items that you use to purchase for your business such as a computer or a desk. So what you wanna make sure is that you write down the description of what you have and you put the category in and there's a drop down menu. So you just put in whatever you think um, is good for that category. So say it's machinery and equipment, you put in the date that you have, say you bought it on 5, 15, 16, and the cost was $1,200. Um, and just put it in there. And I use this to help figure out how much depreciation I need to put onto your tax return. And for a lot of small businesses, you're gonna have a home office expense. Now, this is where you're gonna enter in information of your home office. So right here, you're gonna put in the square footage of the actual office space that you use. So right here, I put 100, and the total this next line is gonna be a total square footage of your entire home, say, say 1,400. And same concept from left to right, you put in here, um, and say they raise the rent up later on, you could put it in there just like that, it tallies it up right here, and this is the total I use. Same for car expense, you could enter in the business miles. Business miles would be what you use actually for business. So say for one month you drove 50 miles, and then the total miles that you drove for business and personal was a thousand and it will take a percentage for me right here and I use this as part of calculation again left to right for your for keeping track of your expenses and it just tallies it up right here duplicate worksheet button this allows you to make a copy of this Excel sheet right here so you have two of them in case you have multiple businesses um, and then the clear data allows you to erase the information that you just entered in, but still keep all the general categories that I've already put in there. If there are any questions, please let me know. Hopefully this was helpful.